Hello, welcome. That's for you. Oh, for me? Yeah. Where are we going to put this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, where, where should we put this? Oh, look, what a beautiful day. It's always a nice. It's always nice. I, I enjoy coming here because I meet all the people um, that I've been communicating with for oh, a few years. The other thing is the people in Shanghai are really, really interesting as well. It reminds me in some ways a little bit like Auckland and New Zealand, of both looking at that history, looking at a new, very modern city with its great underground and everything, and also experience that wide range of food. What Wi-Fi do I use for my computer? CIIE has been actually quite an interesting journey in, in particular for me. Yeah, VLAN has been at CIIE for six years, or this is the sixth year. I've personally attended five of those. And this year is going to be interesting. I think it'll be quite different than the last. The last few CIIEs to me have not been normal because of the COVID. And so a lot more emphasis was on um, things like the live streaming and the digital platform and that. This year is going to go back to the, um, I call it the hard, the hard, you know, the um, offline type. Because more and more people are going to be there. I think the displays will probably be bigger. I might be wrong there, but key things that we've achieved have happened at different stages and are all tied back to the Chinese government's policy of the one belt, one road which was there to encourage more trade between China and the world. And so VLAND came to the first CIIE because we saw the opportunity there to sell better product, better dairy product to the Chinese consumer. So we've had a number of things happen over that period. Uh, one of them, there was a trade facilitation policy and that enabled us for fresh milk to go from New Zealand through to the consumer in only 72 hours. So if I went to the filling machine and saw a bottle being filled now, I know that a customer could actually sit there and drink that within 72 hours. That's allowing for the 12 hour testing, another 12 hour flying up to, up to Shanghai. And that trade facilitation policy enabled us to quickly get through the border in, in just those three days. In the past, it used to take seven or eight days. Um, we've also achieved a lot of growth in particular with our 4% protein products. We've gone not only from the first and second tier cities, we've actually all gone very quickly into the fourth and fifth tier cities, you know, places like uh, Pinglo and Ningxia and, and a number of others. I think we are into about 25 various provinces and about 50 odd uh, chains and I think into about 5,000 stores. And that's all happened during that period which the CIE has enabled us to grow very, very uh, quickly into that. Why we should take such kind of milk? How different between the others, the milk? Well, mm -hmm. as most people know, New Zealand's got the, uh, the perfect climate for dairy industry. Mm -hmm. and but also, um, I find the people very interesting that I can meet with the different suppliers and everything. But also the personal opportunities. Um, Three years ago, maybe four, we did our first live streaming booth. I had an opportunity to go into the live stream booth and, and talk. So there was a person translating, obviously, all the time, and I had to talk about explaining the different milk products so I could talk about our fresh milk and our UHT milk and the milk powder. And um, it was quite an interesting experience just talking to a camera non stop all that time. In fact, one of the staff and New Zealand actually uh, gave me the nickname because she kept going, yeah, yeah, Loi, and a lot of other companies have done the same. Every year they come back, the quality of the stands are much, much better, the quality of products is better, the number of people is better, so that has definitely improved a lot. I love all food anyway, so coming to Shanghai or even other parts of China is fantastic because I can try anything and everything. New Zealand is a country which is very, very new. So when I come to a place like Shanghai, 
The first thing I like to look at, believe it or not, is actually all the old history and the old culture. And at the same time, I'm seeing this very modern city growing all the time with all the great flash new buildings. Believe it or not, my favourite part is going and looking at the old temples, the old schools, and the stuff where there's thousands of years of history. Uh, for the land, we, we got on board very quickly with this Belt and Road, which is why we've been attending the CIIE every year. It's made a big difference to us. We've met a lot of new people, we've met a lot of new distributors, and we've met a lot of just customers who really like our product. I think growing trade, doesn't matter where it is or when it is, makes a win-win for everybody. It, it just encourages people to get on and get on with their life.